uh, good afternoon, uh, the fourth estate. <laughs> yes, you become very powerful. I have not made a film since the last 10 years. And after coming back after 10 years, for 10 years I have watched the fourth estate grow stronger and stronger and stronger. You almost, you are almost making decisions for this country and the government. I love the debates, I love the yelling and the shouting. <laughs> yeah. Because that's, that's truly a democracy working in the country, truly. Yeah. So having said that, I hope, uh, you know, the fourth estate registers the last line that I p plugged in into the trailer, that a soldier or a martyr does not die when he's shot, but when he's forgotten. Wow. So a lovely quote which I read about a mother saying uh, about her son who's in the army that, you know, I've sent him away to the army so that you can spend precious time with your family. Yeah. So these are little things which is what, I mean, inspires me to make these films. It inspires me because history can go back as much as you want. Wars never end. Like, uh, you know, the saying by a great philosopher is that only the dead have seen the end of war. Nobody, nobody on this earth has ever witnessed a war, a world without a war, any moment in his life. The entire history of mankind has been that sometime or the other, in some place, there is a war that is happening on this earth. So that statement itself, and that was said by Plato, that only the dead have seen the end of war. So uh, I remember when I start, when I released Border, I said I'll never make another war film. Hopefully, because there will never be another war uh, that I will have to reflect on. But then it's, it so happened that we got 1999 Cargill. Then I had to make LOC Cargill. And then I had promised you all that I would make a trilogy, so I decided to complete my promise. And I did so, and I fell upon this uh, incident, a skirmish as they call it. It is a battle, it's not a war, but it is a battle that was fought 